What's going on, MVPs? Week one of Multiverses is finally coming to an end. And I know a lot of people are wondering who is the worst characters and who are the best characters because people keep asking me who should they pick. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is give you guys a 1v1 tier list from the worst to best characters. But before we get into that, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get it. So first person we got on the list is Arya. Arya, I think, is a solid character, but I think she lacks a couple of things that the top characters do have. She's a character you actually have to read your opponents. You have to know how to play multiverses in its totality to really get shit done. Now, don't get me wrong. In the right hands, of course, she's up there, but I think she belongs in A tier, high tier. She is not the craziest character that we have in this game. It is what it is, but she's great. So I'm gonna put her in high tier. Now, Banana Guard, the stupidest, best character in this entire game is a damn banana how did i know because i played against them i used them and i see this character is stupid has hella ko confirmed he has a lot of advantage in neutral this character just doesn't make any sense just look at him he's just smiling at you just whacking you with a spear the whole game he can play bait and punish he can play aggressive and he has hella attacks that has low lag and whiffs so i'm telling y'all if you want a character to pick up that's easy to use banana guard is your guy the banana guard is your guy he's top tier all day easy to use everything now batman batman i think is a very 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 good character he has he doesn't suck but there's another character if you do not use his whole kit you are not getting no dubs you can't just spam one move and win the match. You have to think, you have to coordinate, you have to set up with Batman. I think he takes more skill. I don't think he has too many things that's overpowered. Honestly, I don't think he has too anything that's overpowered. He's a good character, but if you getting cooked by Batman, I feel like you getting red. He's not just throwing out stuff and just winning like that. So Batman, I got to put in high tier. And remember, I'm not doing this in order in high tier. I'm just putting them in the tiers. Black Adam. See, Black Adam, he is much, much better than what he was in the beta. And even in the beta, I still think he was a good character. But now he seems like the kit is solid. This is another character. If you do not use his whole kit, you're not getting dubs. He does not have anything I feel is broken, broken. Now his clap move is really, really good now. But if he whiffs on that or misses, he's getting punished to hell. Do I think he's mid? Hell no. I think he's very viable now. I think he's useful now and you can get a lot more wins this time around than before. So I will put Black Adam high tier. Bugs Bunny. Just look at the stupid smile on his face. Just look at it. You know where he belongs. The safe, the safe alone is murking people. You're losing a 2v1 against Bugs in the safe. The man can put you to do 60% off of one interaction with that safe. So you got to be very, very careful when it comes to bugs. And not only that, that bat, that up air attack is one of the most nastiest, if not easiest, KO confirms if he lands that at a high damage. It's annoying. Bugs Bunny is the, the most broken, annoying outside of Banana Guard. Take your ass to top tier, but Bugs Bunny. Finn. Finn is a fun character this time around. He does not seem as broken as he was in the beta. He seems a lot more containable, and he does have to do work to actually get kills and read people. I wouldn't say Finn is ass, but Finn is definitely high tier. If you use him properly, you're whooping ass. But in the wrong hands, you probably ain't getting no kills like you used to. And he honestly still has book bag spam, which I hate too. So I got to put my boy in high tier. Now Garnett. Garnett is good. Is she great? Nah. And I don't see too much people cooking with Garnett. It, it's not like she was in a beta. She lost out on a lot of things like her up special attack, actually killing people. Now it boosts people to the side. It's like you have to put a lot more work to kill people with Garnett than you did in the past. And she has a huge hurt box nowadays. You can get punished just for doing out your hands, trying to do your special front attack. She's not as good as she used to be just because of that hurt box. I need them to do something about that. Before they do that, I'm putting her ass in mid tier. 
here. Feel how you want to feel. Let me know how you feel about it. That's why we got comment sections right there, boy. Now, Gizmo. This dude is super, super, super slept on. He got nice KO confirmed. He can zone people out with his music notes and his popcorn. He can zone people out with his arrows. He's very small, so he has a nice hurt box to dodge under just regular attacks just for existing. He can almost be top tier. But those ones that I believe is are in top tier, they just have things that just don't make sense. At least Gizmo Kit makes sense on how these things are working. These dudes, Banana Guard and Buzz Bunny, they don't make sense, so they go up there. At least I can make sense of Gizmo, so I gotta put my boy in high tier. He is not ass. I don't think Harley never not been top tier. Harley still has loops this time around. Harley is still fast in the game where they slow things down just so we can get more clarification on what's going on. Harley special attacks still zone people out. She's great. She's great. I don't see anything wrong with Harley in her kit. She can confirm she has what does she need harley doesn't need nothing if anything she would need a nerf before she needs a buff so i'm gonna put her up there man she gotta be up there harley mains i'm sorry man i wanted i'm, I'm one of them too i play harley too so i got we gotta be honest now iron giant now this dude i've been seeing him terrorizing the pro player scene the regular person ain't cooking with iron giant but the pros right now especially because he has the infinite he is disgusting very 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 disgusting i did not believe that iron giant will make it an s tier but he's there i'm sorry and on top of that he has the infinite the man is killing people with infinites until they take that out he's gonna be still in the top tier man <laughs> jake jake this time around does not feel as strong as he used to be Especially the fact you can punish his, his stretchy arms. I mean, he still has his triple dare and stuff like that. But he doesn't feel as oppressive than he did before. Even with the horse. The horse doesn't feel like you can't punish it but like you did before. Before, the man could just run back and forth with this horsey. And you couldn't do nothing. The fact that they added a lot of um, whiff lag on his, his attacks. I think he's very containable now. Until somebody could show me some great Jake... I got to put him in mid-tier for now. See, Jason. Jason is a very, very, very tricky one. I think Jason is very, very strong. But I think the fact that his hurt box is so big, he get himself caught up in a whole bunch of things that another character does not have to deal with. He could be high tier. He could be mid-tier. But honestly, I just don't know where he belongs. Because... I'm cooking most Jasons when I play them in reality just because their hitbox are huge or hurt boxes are huge. I'm, for now, I think I put him in a question mark, man. Because, nah, I'll put him in mid tier because it can go either way depending on who you're using. He can play the bait and punish game. He can be, uh, uh, he can be some sort of aggressive depending on who you're going against. So, you know what? I'll put him in mid. He ain't the worst, but he definitely not the best. Now Joker, Joker is another one that doesn't play, doesn't make any sense. Joker is literally playing out a beta version. Joker can cancel out of everything. Joker movement is insane. Joker specials are insane. His dash attack is insane. It seems like he can link everything into anything. He can cancel out of anything and link it into anything. The man just covers so much. He's a bruiser and a mage in my eyes. That boy is not a mage. It's no way. He's disgusting. Come on, man. I'm not going to let you just slip slip by us, Joker. You belong here. LeBron is a mystery. I don't know. I don't know if you top tier, high tier, mid tier. I don't know. It's just because them balls make no sense. Them balls is his paws. Them balls is his damn territory. I don't know. Because if they nerfed the ball, would that that would pretty much kill him at that point because he doesn't have too many good normal attacks in my opinion but he is very very strong i don't know how to rate him because he doesn't make sense i'm sorry i gotta put you in question mark question mark lebron i don't get you i really don't understand what's going on with lebron in this game he's good for when i play him but i don't know i don't know now marvin marvin is a is a sneaky one he is 
it's gonna be sneaking past a lot of nerfs and buffs i have a feeling because a lot of people are not picking up marvin me personally i think marvin is definitely high tier he's better than the characters in mid tier in my opinion freaking marvin can re reflect projectiles he can set you up he can kill at good percentages he has great movement i think he's great i think he's great in my opinion he's high tier he's fun he's fast he gets kills and 1v1 if you zoning them out with your bubbles you are murking especially in a game that is a lot slower than before you are murking now morty morty is another person i don't quite understand i think we need more time with morty i don't think he's trash i think he's better than the mid tiers in my opinion because morty can actually box now but i just think the routes are different i think at this point we need to just get some more time with morty i can't really give him a tier because honestly i only played him like two three times i got the wins but it felt a lot harder than it was before in the past so i'm gonna put him in question mark i don't know yet y'all let me know how you feel about this one but rain doll y'all sleeping on rain doll let me tell you rain doll got loops rain doll can play bait and punish rain doll can zone your ass out rain doll is straight boxing he got good armor breakers his recovery on whiffs is great he has the movement thing when he turns into a ball to get away from people and i always say anybody who has special in their their kit they're automatically high tier or top tier so i'm sorry rain dog is high tier if you don't if you don't respect it come see my rain dog that's how i feel now rick rick is a rick rick is another tricky one i don't know where he stands i fought like two ricks in this whole week i don't know if he's good i don't know if he's bad the only good rick i have seen clips from was wolf sight wolf sight is the only person i see actively still playing rick i do not see rick all over the game anymore it seems like he lost his popularity i don't know if it's because he's weak i don't know what it is he's another character i have to put in question mark i'm not sure i'm not sure yet he seems viable like every character in this game but i do not know where he stands shaggy the damn super saiyan of this game shaggy is never gonna be under high tier it's, it's no way no form no how Shag, shaggy is pretty much the mario of this game ain't no way they're gonna make his ass weak right shaggy kills at a good percentage his special attacks still do crazy knockback still do crazy damage shaggy is an all-around fighter i don't see him having too much of an issue getting wins if the player is good i will definitely put shaggy in high tier it is what it is man y'all gotta respect it to check it out right now steven steven universe the first time in multiverse's history steven is top tier steven is a great great character now his kit works fully the watermelon steves are actually boxing now we are getting work and shit done with steven universe this time around i don't know why they did it but they made steven the best he has ever been in multiverse's history and my boy is finally in top tier man i might actually main him how fun he is nowadays man or good he is nowadays i gotta put him in top tier now stripe i haven't seen too much of stripe i tried stripe stripe didn't seem that interesting i see bugsy talking about he's pretty decent i mean i gotta watch some more pro play players play this character but in my opinion he's mid he's hard to kill with unless you're reading your opponent to death but outside of that i don't see too much in his kit that looks crazy like the rest of the people right superman superman does not look as good as he did in the beta is he still good i think so he can still get early kills he can still read your ass he can still throw you off the map it's just not as easy as it was before so i would not put him in top tier because the characters that we see in the top they all got some stupid loop or some stupid thing that you cannot get get out of or get or deal with superman i don't think he has that and i never will put superman in mid tier because i hate him i'm gonna put you in high tier because i don't ever want to see you with another buff stay where you at boy that's bias pick i don't care how y'all feel about it now taz 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 do i think he sucks no do i think he's the best no taz tornado is still stupid and the fact that he could keep using it over and over is annoying i'm hearing that taz has the infinite out there so 
I'm scared about that. I don't know if, um, if enough people are seeing these things because you don't see a lot of Taz players. I don't think he's mid. I still think he's a high tier character. I don't even think he's hard to use anymore. I think he's I think he's cool. Like I could see Taz whooping half of the high tiers without no issue. Just looking at it on paper, in all honesty. Tom and Jerry, Tom and Jerry still a tier. I don't see them being bad. You're fighting against a cat and a damn mouse while they're fighting each other. Bro, you're fighting a 2v1 in all situations. You gotta worry about Jerry. You gotta worry about balls, paws. You gotta worry about traps. Tom and Jerry's a great character. Like the kit they, the character they created, the kit behind them, just everything. There's no way they're mid tier. They got, they got, they can confirm a kill with the damn rocket, the up, the up rocket. So you gotta be careful with Tom and Jerry, boy. If you, if, if he's in the right hand, he's no lower than a high tier, bro. And most people who pick Tom, they know what they're doing. So good luck with that when you're fighting Tom and Jerry, right? They gotta be high tier. Remember, these things are not in order. So now we got, we got Velma. Velma must be, Velma, I think is the worst character in this game. As far as 1v1s. 2v2s, I think she could do a little bit more, but 1v1s, I don't think she's that great. You have to use everything in her kit, and even when you're using that, half the time, they had 160 damage, you can't even confirm the kill. I wouldn't even put her in question mark. I'm putting her ass in low tier. Velma mains deserve some buffs at this point. They doing her dirty right now. Yes, she was a menace in beta version, but come on, come on, give her something. Let her fight, bro. Let her fight, bro. Now, Wonder Woman. I hate her, but I love her at the same time. She is bad as fuck, first of all. She's sexy as hell. Second of all, she got too many shields. All you doing is breaking shields every time you fight her, bro. You can't even get into and fight. Like, she protects herself so much that it's irritating. She can play aggressive. She can play... She can play aggressive, she can play passive, she can play bait and punish. All her specials are viable and great. She can defend herself with two different specials. She doesn't make sense. The cat nerfed this character because I know it was you. I know it was you, the cat, who did this. Please take care of this, PFG. The cat had enough fun. The week is over. She needs some nerfs. <laughs> but anyway, you already know where she belongs. She belongs in top tier, bro. There's no way. It, 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 it's, it's no way she don't. Remember, this is not in order, but this is the list. This is how I feel, this is my opinion, this is not facts. But of course, people, I always want you guys to give me your opinion on my tier list. This is just my experience, what I thought. Y'all already know what to do. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. TDN signing out, yo, yo, yo.